Tom is loving this one. The city of San Francisco filled with reminders of the old days and some of those monuments to years past. Yeah, but as NBC Bay Area's Joe Rosado Jr. found out, some of those monuments are hidden where you wouldn't expect to find them. Lefio Duels is certainly no secret to San Francisco's lunch crowd. They pile in for piles of pastrami, stiff drinks, and walls bearing pictures of the baseball great the joint's named after. If Lefty's has a secret, it's not inside the restaurant, it's above it. On a recent day, restaurant owner Nick Bovis and publicist Lee Housekeeper ventured up the cobweb stairs, climbing deeper and deeper into San Francisco's past. This building was built in like right after the earthquake, 19, 1907. Oh, up there there is, see all the yeah. lights around? Do you see the old bathroom here? It looks like uh, like they built the Lefty Duels in 1958 underneath here and sort of sealed up this, and this is sort of like a time capsule. The space above Lefty's inner ceiling reveals the remains of an old theater. Twice as tall when you come up here and can see all of this space, what this must have been one day. Walls flake paint chips the size of saucers. Massive skylights illuminate ornate molding and decorations. During the 1930s, uh, it was uh, definitely a, a vaudeville theater. And you can see all the artwork and the uh, moldings and the different things um, on the walls that show that it was a theater. This is the dressing room where, uh, where the dancers used to dress. There aren't any rare archaeological treasures up here, at least not the kind most historians collect. Oh. Jesus, okay. It's old, old beer can. <laughs> But Bovis did discover a treasure of a different kind. An old beer can, a tube of ancient toothpaste, a box of Lefty O'Doul's favorite records. These are old. I don't know what, what speed they were. I think they were... 78s. Like 78s, yeah. This was oh, his... Guy, Guy Lombardo. I don't like his taste. But the real find was Lefty's old golf bag, minus the clubs. And I started going through the bag, and uh, I found the old note from uh, with Lefty's writing that shows how... He made his old Bloody Mary mix. The old recipe was a roadmap to let the signature drink. A drink that's been handed down for generations, but never on paper. It never written down. You know, we've never had it. Uh, you had to show each person. We made it in vats for a long time. Lefty was real particular about making sure that they made it a certain way. And when we found it, we realized it was, it's almost identical. There's a couple of small things that through time probably got changed. Bovis figures you can't bottle history, but you can bottle an old Bloody Mary recipe. January 7th, 1966. And in a place where the walls do talk, the city's glorious past is always on the menu. Joe Rosado Jr., NBC Bay Area News. Happiness is an old attic. Tomorrow, lefties will host a party for Joe DiMaggio's 95th birthday. The event begins at 10 a.m. The restaurant will serve 95-cent Bloody Marys. We're going to have to rewind that tape, <laughs> freeze it, and write that's it down. Right, write the recipe exactly. around. What are you All doing right. tomorrow at 10 a.m.? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to do that. i got to work all day. <laughs>